What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. This more league golf video is brought to you by Naples Rip Company. And this picturesque Wednesday afternoon is at El Dorado Golf Course, where it's the final of three days in the more league girls golf individual. Alicia Arzaga from Wilson and Polly's Jamie Gracie both sit in atop the, the leaderboard after the first two days, and we catch up with them on the back nine at El Dorado Golf Course, where Arzaga put up some big numbers on the front nine and had some tough luck on the back. This on the 11th just lips out, but she continued to play par golf and sat just behind Gracie going into the 12th, where Gracie was crushing him with the Jim Furyk-esque swing. This on the 164-yard par three, uh, that'll do. How about this on the par four, 330 yard 13th? She drives out to about, I don't know, 100 yards, paces off the wedge, and sticks it. Four footer for the birdie, I'll take that, it's in the hole. She's up two, headed to the 15th hole, where they were going to call the match because they're losing daylight. They're gonna cut it at 15 holes unless it is tied, she's up two, and it's not looking that way until Gracie realizes on the green that she hit the wrong ball back in the fairway. So she's got to take her bag and club and go all the way back, find the ball that she hit off the tee, as Wilson head coach Jeff Evans explains the two-stroke penalty. So she lays up, and on her fifth shot after the penalty, she flies right over the pin. Golf is the only sport out there where you call a foul on yourself. It's easy to say that. It's a lot harder to do it, and even harder to do it on the last hole of a tournament. Gracie leaves that putt short, taps this in for the seven. Heartbreak. Meanwhile, Arzaga, two putts, she taps in for her five, so after 33 holes, we are knotted up at 145. This just a pure moment of golf sportsmanship. Somebody said, you know, she could have just finished and nobody would have known. And head coach for Polly Ken Munger said she would have. That is the nature of golf. That is the nature of the rule, and we're going to a playoff. The 16th, 370-yard par four. Arzaga strokes it down the middle, and then Gracie, after all that emotion, just nails. Said after the match that that shot really calmed her down. So both are on the green in regulation. Arzaga misses the birdie, then Gracie for the win. Oh, one roll short. But through this whole thing, Kid never stopped smiling. So we're going to the 17th, still tied. 130 yard par 3, 17. Arzaga goes just short. Gracie also on the green, both with par that hole. We go to the 18th as the sun gets lower in the sky. When when it does get dark, calling all carts. Hitting the fairway like Xerxes. Both players went left on the 18th. Arzaga is short with her second shot and on with her third. As you can see, Gracie at the back after her third shot. So, from off the fringe, for birdie, and the win on the 18th green. <laughs> Still smiling though. Arzaga also pars the hole, so carts are here. They go back to the first hole, the par four, this kid's just still hitting amazing golf shots, trying to beat the sun, trying to beat each other. Arzaga, with her second, goes up top. Gracie wants that one to sit down. Ah, oh, when's this kid gonna get a break? Well, it would come on the first green. Arzaga leaves that par putt on the short side, and sure enough, after 37 holes, 19 holes on the day, we've still just got one champion. Back to back, more league individual champ Jamie Gracie and uh, high fives all around, well deserved. She also keeps the accidentally hit ball as a piece of memorabilia from what is absolutely an incredible and amazing day. That is golf. This video brought to you in part by McCarty's Jewelry, here for you since 1932. Those more league golfers will be hitting the CIF links next week, and we will have all of that covered right here at GazetteSports.com.